Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and in this Cool Tools video, I'm gonna show you three automatic center punches. Maybe you've got a cheapo like this already in your house. They're great for starting drill holes in metal or wood. I'm gonna show you how this one stacks up to two other higher end options, and I've got links for all these in the video description here. So here's what we're looking at. This is a generic brass handle punch. The cheapest I could find costs around $5. For $10, I bought the Nyko. It's well liked on Amazon and has a different type of handle. And for the top of the line, I got this $30 punch from Rennsteig. Highly rated. There are pricier options people rave about, but paying more than $30 for a punch is probably silly for most of us. So here's the generic punch you've probably used before. Up here you can adjust the striking force. Loose is less, tight is more. You push it into the material you want to make a dimple on until it clicks, and then you've made your mark. There may be an amazing version of this style of punch, but because they're visually indistinguishable, there's no good way I know of to tell the good from the bad without handling it. As I understand it, what you're looking for in a punch is a useful amount of striking force to dent the material you're marking, and durability. Bad punches will get dull quickly. A lot of people just resign themselves to replacing these every year or so with a new cheap punch. Considering the price, I can understand that approach. But even on its best day, new from the package, tightened up for maximum impact, here's the divot this will make on steel. A decent starting point for a drill bit, but it's gonna go downhill quick. Next up, we've got the $10 one from Nyko. Right off the bat, I like that the knob at the top lets you push down on this with your palm. When you're using these repeatedly, to me, this is a much more ergonomic motion than this or this. It's also adjustable. You twist the red knob to create more or less impact. The description on Amazon claims that the pin here is made from S2 tool steel, which is a particularly hard shock resistant steel. I haven't used it long enough to know how it wears, but at only $5 more than a generic punch, I'd get this again just for the comfort of having the knob on the top. Set to high impact, here's what the divot looks like compared to the generic punch. It's a little more pronounced. Finally, there's the Rennsteig. I got it for $30 on Amazon. It's all German made, comes in this protective tube, and I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but it definitely looks and feels like a higher grade tool. It has this ergonomic grip, a big cap to push down on, and the pin looks noticeably different from the other two. What sold me on this one was that it had a rated strike power of 60 to 130 newtons. I have no practical sense of what that means, but the fact that they're even mentioning it made me excited. This also adjusts by twisting, and at close to full tension, you really do need that cap to force this thing all the way down. But check out that divot. I know we're looking at a small scale here, but there's definitely a difference. Now even the best punch is gonna get dull at some point. I suspect this pin will last much longer than the $5 punch, but I still don't wanna buy a $30 tool more than once if I can help it. Fortunately, Rennsteig sells replacement pins you can get online for about seven to $10. So there you go, three automatic center punches compared. If you've ever used the cheap ones before, spending a little more money does seem to get you a better product. These are a big help for accurately drilling holes in metal or wood. I've got links to all three options in the description. And remember, you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like these at cool-tools.org.